Hi, my name is Robert, and this is a follow-up on the video where I showed you how to uh, use an array formula to determine the first value and the last value in a column. Now, everything works fine as long as you don't change the structure in this worksheet. So let's suppose, for example, you decide to insert a new row on A1. Now, if you do that, as you can see, the value, the first value in column A is changed from 5 to 0. Obviously, that is wrong. Now, if you click on the formula, what you will notice is that the formula now has changed from A1 to A2, and the second part of the uh, reference has also changed from A65,535 to 65,536. Now, the reason why this happens is that Excel needs to update the reference for the cell. So the way to correct this is to use the indirect function so that you can input the information. So if we go here and we type indirect and then we can close the indirect function, obviously this must be entered as a text. Now if you press Control shift to enter, you still get the same value, but the difference is that now if you go back here and you insert a row, the indirect function doesn't change because this is a fixed value. So you will not have a change in the uh, calculation which is happening in column A. Although this is only happening for the first value, if you click on the formula for the last value, you will notice that that has also changed. So you now have here A2 all the way down to A65536. And also for the row function, you have the same problem. So if we go back to our insert row, you can do exactly the same thing up here. You can use the indirect function and then you can insert this reference as a text and for the row function you can insert the indirect or nest the indirect function in the row function and inserting that as a text then you would solve your problem now as you will see if you click insert both formulas will remain exactly the same so in this specific case I have a relative reference and in the previous one, I have an absolute reference, but it really doesn't matter. You could remove the dollar signs up here, and then you can press Control shift to enter and you still have the same formula. So, like I said, this is a follow-up so that you can sort of better understand how uh, these two formulas work. And it is important that you see this difference because if you keep the original formula shown in the previous video, it is fine as long as nothing changes in your worksheet. And the danger is that you might need to add a uh, heading, for example, to uh, your worksheet. And in a situation like this, you're going to change the formula structure. And the whole thing, obviously, will cause the uh, formula to collapse. So this is the follow-up explanation. Until next time, my name is Robert.